Lost Recording Studios. I'm Chuck and today I want to talk about rubber banding audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's very simple. Let's get to it. So we've got the program opened up and what we need to do is I've got the audio track already selected. Everybody should know how to at least get to that point so you can see the waveforms. Um, if you don't, basically click on Window up in the top and it will ask you to audio clip mixer, audio meters. You want audio meters clicked with a check mark and that will show the audio waveforms. In a nutshell, all we need to do is click on the pen tool and you can either be in editing mode or audio mode. Click on the pen tool, click on the timeline where you see the audio bar. And right now our audio volume level is set at zero decibels. I want to lower it down for the intro. So I can click that. Now I can drag line and bring it down. That's it. Anywhere you want to change the volume, click. That sets your set point. Now you can rubber band your audio up or down. We will go into a video that's a little bit longer in length on this. But basically there's a lot of videos out there and you might have to sift through 10-15 minutes worth of video in order just to get this one subject down. So I'm trying to make it fairly easy. Keep this video under a couple minutes. Uh, and then we'll do an in-depth video at a later point. Basically, go to audio. It's going to have the same line as long as you have your pen tool. You can click, drag, rubber band, up or down. Very simple. It tells you when you click on it and hold your left mouse, 9.9 .9 decibels above zero. Drag it down to zero. Drag it down to minus. Very simple, very easy. I'm Chuck. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.